Good evening. My name is、uh, Daniel Wei. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for MeasureRail China. Today, I'm happy to talk about the MeasureRail consumer engagement solution for the CG industry. We are a European B2B service company with a very large presence in China, and we've tailor-made our solution for this particular market as well. I'll first start with some、uh, recent trends for the market. Now I understand some of the trends are very China-specific, but I think the thought process for a market to respond to such a trend is the same. So I'll give you the backdrops.、Uh, we'll start with the macro.、Uh, the government policies—they've、uh, been implementing new laws. For example, the so-called PIPL law, the Personal Information Protection Law. Which restricts how a consumer data can pass from one operator to the other, and the anti-monopoly laws that focus on restricting large internet platforms, especially e-commerce platforms. Next is the、uh, COVID. Some joke about the COVID being the chief digital transformation officer for companies. I mean, joke around.、Um, it does accelerate the、uh, speed of digitalization on how we operate. Online and retail, and offline retails, and the social isolation of the consumers means they now have more time and more desire for online content, and that's how we want to engage them. The touch points、um, we used to have the luxury of operating separate touch point for brand awareness, for consumer interest, for conversion, and for loyalty and customer service. But now the touch points are really just converge, converging. I mean, we have the social, we have the、uh, live streaming, especially we have the、uh, short videos.、Um, some of the touch point you can no longer tell whether they're a content or conversion or brand building.、Uh, it's really converging. Now the target audience、uh, for our consumers,、um, they whether you use the so-called AIPL, the awareness, the interest, the purchase, the loyalty journey. Or you use the 5A model,、um, you will notice that the consumer no longer follow these typical journeys. Their journeys has been shortened.、Um, take live streaming, for example, they might start with the content,、um, and they end with the、uh, the next step will be the purchase. They become a loyal fans even be- between, even before they have a chance to build the brand. Um, and the consumer today have a much lower level of loyalty on a particular channel. They really hop around、uh, between the channels. What it means for consumer goods industry? So we are seeing、um, a few trends in our clients. First, they're putting much more focus on the DTC operation,、um, especially because of the、uh, personal information protection laws. So that means you will、um, start building and focusing on spending much more. Um, assets on the private domain data, so that means DTC operations. And next, on omnichannel digital marketing,、uh, you now have to digitally engage your consumer even for offline operations. And next is the content-driven marketing and sales because the、uh, interest level, interest-based e-commerce is now booming. And lastly, because the journey has been rewritten for the consumers. Uh, you now have to challenge the new challenge of a paid media、uh, rebudgeting. You have to have a more, much more precision、uh, plan for your paid media as well. That change how we conduct consumer operations.、Um, so the brands, the clients we're serving right now, are putting a lot of focus on private domain management, both in terms of data、um, and for retail. For consumer channel consumer data,、uh, the data, the CDP that you're building or CRM you're building right now will really have to、uh, using ID the consumer data across the channels. And because you have to digitally engage consumer even for offline, that means marketing automation to today is a mandatory, is a must that you might you have to、uh, implement. And because content driven marketing and sales is now the trend. That means you will have to have a recommendation engine to personalize the content for each consumers, and that means 
you need to look at the consumers in a new way of segmentation is no longer by uh, affluent levels. Um, and because uh, they change their behavior, because they sometimes demonstrate um, their content interest even before um, they convert. That means your loyalty plan, which used to be based on the RFM model, will have to be redesigned to include their online and content consumption behavior.